Hey everyone, Scott from 30 Second How To. I'm going to show you quickly how to reset uh, iPod Nanos. Oh, once you've purchased them either used or you just want to wipe everything and uh, or you potentially you've forgotten your combination. As you can see, I have an iPod Nano here and it is in the, the locked mode. And so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to plug it in using my iPod cable and um, I'll switch over to a screenshot mode so you can see what I'm going to do in iTunes to reset this guy. So I'm going to plug this in here and do that. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to plug the iPod in so you can see what it looks like in iTunes. I just did that and up here in just a moment you're going to see, uh, so you can actually see this is looking for an update. I'm going to hit cancel on that right now. And uh, so this is the guy I bought the iPod off of at a garage sale actually. And again, uh, he had a lock on it, couldn't remember the password so that's the reason why I'm, uh, I'm going through this procedure. So I'm going to click on this. And you can actually have a, have a couple options here. You can either uh, upgrade the software if you'd like to do that. Uh, maybe you already know something that uh, or uh, the the password to your specific iPod. Uh, again, this is strictly for restore. You can come over here with this little button and click the restore iPod. It's going to give you a uh, message making sure this is exactly what you want to do. Go ahead and click that restore and update. Um, now. You can actually click the next button. This is your software updates that it's actually going to install while it's going. So I'm going to let uh, this actually restore, and I will uh, come back on with a, uh, a new uh, video or a new video screenshot here once it's uh, it's up, and let you know how long it took. All right, that was actually very very fast. In fact, right after I uh, turned off the screenshot mode and plugged or uh, typed in my password. Uh, I got a notification, now this is again only a four gigabyte uh, model, but I got a notification with probably within about 15, 20 seconds that the synchronization was complete and that it had been restored to factory default settings. So I'm gonna go ahead and unplug this right now and we can see what it looks like uh, once it um, finishes rebooting here. You can see it's now in the upgrade process. Again, that was a new software update that was loaded while it was reset. So there you go. You can see it is now um, in the welcome screen. And you can set it up with uh, with English. And again, this res I get restores it to factory defaults, meaning there is now no more of your music or anything. This is exactly as it comes out from the factory. All right. Hope that has helped get you out of lock screen, reset an iPod. And uh, let me know if you have any additional questions about iPods or Mac products. Check out the, uh, the links below. I actually have some Mac products on sale, uh, some links down there for you to check out. All right, take care and uh, stay tuned for more.